I got a little anxiety, but it's gonna be smooth sailing, right? Well, yeah. This time be smooth. No, Carla, it's fun. It's really fun. Fun is it? Uh, it's really, it really, really. Is. It's all, It's gonna be like this, right? You came in on that dirt road. You guys came in on that dirt road, right? Right. Was that nice, like a nice smooth super highway? <laughs> So any bumps we have are not going to be any different than what you had on that dirt road. And the wheels didn't fall off the SUV, so the wings are not going to fall off the glider. I'm not, I'm not, yeah. I just, it's just, you know. Just glide. Just tell me we're going to glide. We're going to glide. We're going to glide. So you're going to pull the rope out of the back of the... Yeah, flip your... Uh... You're gonna you're gonna pull the rope out of the back of the airplane, and you are going to uh, wait until he comes back fairly close. Kiss me before I see you again. All right. I love nice you. flight. I love you. <laughs> and I guess yeah, Brian, Brian's gonna button everything up, right? Yeah. Don't give me any more anxiety than I already got. Relax. I was like, boy, that cable wasn't that long. Do me a favor, Carla. Hold the hold the canopy that right there. Just keep, leave your hand right like that. All right. So the can the prop doesn't blow the canopy. Oh, shut. okay. Small ring, right? The small ring, yes. Say open. Open. Ooh. Close. Okay. All right. Help her with her canopy. Close her canopy. I want that, dude. Look at the pin and the hook. Pull the handle back. Pull the handle back. It won't close until you pull the handle back. Oh. No. Yeah, there you go. All right. Now push forward. All right. Okay. That's good. Okay, right. have patience with me. I may not take the control. No, you're you're going to be fine. I do this all the time. I understand. Time. It's not you. It's just the... Well, I see 90-year-old ladies. It's, it's the unknown for me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it'll be good. I don't like roller coasters. Okay, we will not do anything like that. Please. Canopy and airbrakes, close and lock, ready to go. Here we go. I'm seeing it's going to be just nice and smooth. Okay, I will give you an exceptionally smooth ride. Please. I've been in small planes... behind the boat, holding on to the rope. This is a smooth area. So that wasn't too bumpy, was it? No. I, like I said, part of it is the anxiety of not knowing. Well, you know? Yeah, I promise you'll have a good time. See the bird off to the left? Yeah. You'll be flying with birds. You're going to love it. So we're, we're following this guy. If you need air, you can always put your hand out the left. There you go. How you doing? I'm doing okay now. Okay. So we're headed east. Off a little off to the left of the nose, you can see downtown Miami. Yep. Down below us are all the avocado groves and mango groves and lychee groves. The black fabric things that you see, a lot of those are shade houses uh -huh. uh, for orchids and houseplants. There are a lot of houseplants here that they'll ship all over the United States uh, come uh, April, March and April. They'll ship everything out, big semi-trucks full of plants to all the garden centers all over America. Yep. And uh, Ooh. they've got some row crops now, yeah, uh, uh, salad greens and okra and squash growing all sorts of stuff.
So you, we will occasionally get a bump, and all that is means is there's rising air. It's not anything dangerous, it's just rising air that's lifting us, and that's what we're going to use um, to help uh, prolong the flight. Can we go faster, Penny, please? Oh, shit. There's the southern end of Florida. Off, you can see the Florida Bay off in the distance. Looks yeah. straight ahead, yep. straight ahead, and all the way to the Keys. Yep. Right. Whoa. We're not falling like a rock. We're actually going up. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Just imagine you're on a lake. What is the lake? Uh, lake, not Lake Louise. Lake, lake Mineola. Lake Mineola, and the wind kicked up. Oh, oh. And so there's a couple bumps, and that's that's it. It's just, and you're you're banking around. You're making a turn to go around the edge of the shore, of the the lake. So you're in a little bit of a turn, and then you know, it's just a nice sunny Friday day after Thanksgiving. You're not having to fight the crowds at the at the mall. No, I'm fine. I just, I, like I said, the thermals are what kind of get me from time to time. And, you know, I'm telling you, David's going to love it. 
I, I don't get me wrong, Stuart. I really appreciate you doing this, and I, 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 I you know, now that when I get over doing something one time, mm -hmm. it helps me with anxiety. Okay, I'm not a Costco person. Okay. At all, because I hate the lift. You know. Um, so. Oh, I see the bird down there on the field. Okay, so yeah, we're in rising air. Sometimes they'll they'll find they'll come and join up with us. If they see that we're climbing, they're going to come and fly with us. So there's all those shade houses down below. Yeah. And uh, farm vegetables. I don't I feel know like what we're the, just doing the, going in circles. Well, we are, but this is what happens is when you cook spaghetti, and there's all these little bubbles on the bottom of the pot when as the water starts to heat up. So there's all these little bubbles of warm air that are stuck to the surface on the ground. And every now and then it gets hot enough and they start to bubble and break loose and become like a continuous stream of bubbles. That's what's going on now. We're in a we're inside a little stream of bubbles of warm air that are rising and lifting us up. So we're if we could tr go searching around and try and find another stream of bubbles, but once you get in one, we kind of like hang out in it. Yeah, you can go stay. Now I see four birds straight ahead. I'm gonna go join up with those guys right there. See them? Right ahead above us, high, higher up. Oh, I see them, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna go join up with them. And hopefully that's the stronger thermal. So do you remember what altitude we got off? We got off at 2,000 feet. I, yeah, I didn't look, I was too busy. Okay. I know we're at like... So we are at, almost back up to 2,000 feet. And you see the birds there? Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Come on. Oh. You're okay. I know, Stuart. You guys just, you know. We're just birds up here. We're flying with the birds. I understand. I understand. <laughs> Believe me. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. I'm doing, I'm doing better than I thought I would do. I okay. will tell you that. Okay. okay. And I think it's spectacular and it's gorgeous. You it see really all those is. birds? Here they are. Really and what do you think they're eating up here? What do you think? What are they oh! eating? Goodness. What are they doing up here? They're just soaring. They're, they're just eating. soaring. There's they're nothing not for them to eat. No, this eating. is what they do for fun. They come and hang out here. They're just hanging out. So we're now 200 feet higher than when we started. Yeah. And we had a glider. A guy named Tony Turiano flew a glider from here, this airport, to Claremont, to wow. Seminole, Seminole Lake. Took him six hours. On thermals. On thermals well, that's only. Cool. That's really happened. I have to try and find the magazine article that talked about it. But I sealed him in the canopy so he couldn't escape. <laughs> and and started the, the the record recorder, yeah. and which we call a bariometer. Ooh. And he flew for six hours up past LaBelle and up up 27 west of Lake Okeechobee and went all the way up to Claremont. And there's a glider higher than us. Look up, look up, look up, look up. Where? Straight up almost. Oh, yeah. See him? Yep, 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 yep. Woo! Woo! Now, where's that parachute jump plane? I don't know. I don't know. You need to that one. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, we'll head down in just a minute, okay? That's, that's all good. It's all good, okay. We're going to head down in just a minute. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. Caution oh, for shoot. glider circling uh, just uh, north of uh, North oh, General. Uh, actually, there's two of us here, about 2,700. Watch me, caution uh, just just off the uh, south, the northwest corner of the airport. Oh shit! What? I'm just anxiety. There's that guy over there. There's one yeah. below of us. Right, we're, we're all good, it's all good. I'm talking to the jump plane. All right. Jump Whoa. plane's gonna go underneath us. And we're almost up to 3,000 now. We've gained 700 feet. There's the uh, jump, jump plane. plane over there. So Whoa. we should see some parachutes coming down. Oh, shit. Oh! oh come on. 
hey, you know, you're flying with one of the most skilled pilot, I know, fighter but pilots. It's not, it's not that. It's the things that I just don't, yeah. The sensation of the, moving around, bumping yeah, around? Yeah. Okay, well, we're not going any higher now. We're going we're gonna to head down now. Okay? That's all good. Okay, you see the keys off to the distance there yep. off the nose. Yep. And there's Florida Bay that yep. way. You see it? The shiny yep. water over there? Yep. And if you look, as we turn back to the west, you can actually see all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. Seriously. I bet on a clear day. Well, right there is Cape Sable. If I help hold the nose that way, yeah. that's Cape Sable right there. Oh, wow. You can kind of see it shining off in the distance. Yeah. And so we're going to we're gonna start to head down now. I'm going to go straight east. We're, we're going west now, but I'm going to point back to this. another plane first. Yeah, well, we're going to have some planes near as we get lower. So we're going to accelerate. So it's going to get noisier. We're going to go off to the east. Okay, so you're ready for a little louder. You probably will be able to close your window. And we're going to go faster. Oh, shit. Don't say, oh, shit. I just, just, how do you way. get, we're just going down, that's all. It's my way. We're going to get ready to land. off the uh, northern edge of Homestead General Landing Runway 9 for Homestead. Uh, 
I know it's probably a little more anxiety than you're used to. I told you you would like it. It's fun. I just got it. It's fun. It's fun. You you did it. You survived. We cheated death again. Oh, I'm sure. You guys are just... (laughs) 